Why is everyone lying to her? You can't see me. You can't see me. If you were trolling over kill server, maybe it's a good thing that you must like. <laughs> oh no no no, I wasn't doing it on stream, don't worry. Also, hi Kurfan, how are you today? Alright, how the fuck do I do this? Keep thinking. Okay. Catch me if you can. We have a dated ladies in platform, got food school, we're still shorter. Most women want taller men. Most men want healthy skinny woman, it's nature. I find you very attractive. But why? Like what 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 is the thing with it? Why? Though I don't know a man that would have one healthy skinnier woman. I don't. Like most of the guys that I know, they actually have preferred a girl with curves. Okay. Was it mentioned male not being able to have a relationship with women with better salary? Yeah, that too. Okay. Okay, I got too early. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Okay, that doesn't work. So I can throw them. Okay. There is something I need to do, right? Catch me if you can. But what? Yeah, go and help. Okay. You've mm -hmm. no idea what you've got yourself into. Skinnier, you mean not skinny? You mean not that? That's a uh... no. Still no. Your height or your salary don't make you any more or less of a person. Yeah, true. Very true. Keep thinking. Mm -hmm. You're a man and you prefer well bred, well educated woman. You'd rather discuss Pyron than the latest TikTok person. Okay, I will be dying, it's fine. Just because I did not catch what they were saying. It's is also fine. Yeah, I don't care. I need to think this through. Hi, Mr. Bun. How are you today? Okay, so we are supposed to figure out a way that we can find it. But how? Find a way to slow her down. Okay, because I did not listen that. I did not. Cool her off sometime. Yeah, I did miss that one too. That's cute. But how? And where? I got to say, like, I fucking hate the whole concept of making a puzzle out of it. Like, once again, there is a boss fight that can only be heard at one way. I highly dislike it. I really highly dislike it. You can't see me. The Sir Patrick Stewart is your consist. Ah, no, he's talking to us through a radio or something. So it's some fucking tricky thing. Oh, yeah, I already like mm, this kind of stuff is making my motivation low for the game. Sad for it, yeah. Extremely sad. So I, was, I had high hopes, but at the moment I'm just li disliking it. You can't see me. Disliking it quite a lot. It's just the attraction. If the character is shit, and the attraction is going for both sides, there is also one that like assholes for some reason. For some reason, the attraction is the only thing that they want. 
not for everyone, but for some people it is. Wait. Okay. Hi, Squares. How are you today? Aloha Ferret, how are you today? Alright, yeah, it's this way, Salu Ranko. I have no fucking idea what I'm supposed to do. No, like, I have zero fucking idea. Sorry, now you have coffee for me. Nice. I hope you enjoy your coffee. I love the combination of that woman's voice and her saying, I find you very attractive. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, dear. Satan's acolytes must surely be behind oh, this. Oh, I'm not for down for fucking puzzles already. It's a combat tool, not an environmental thing. What kind of combat tool? I don't think I have too many. Spend on money or for some super important. Yeah, for some people, not for everyone though. Look through your moves and relics. What is icy? Oh fucking hell! Okay, thank you, thank you. Fucking hell, I keep using the wrong one, yeah. yeah. Alright. Oh, come on. I still can't make it, though. Okay. Don't want to be a famous, you like. Your privacy. Yeah, understandable. I mean, educated as in has something interesting to talk about in terms of flow and conversation. You know, about your conversation with your partner can be about the existential part of partner goes and free art. The more saying something, soon like the one's mind sort of educated. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, I won't be able to make this boss fight. It's fine. Have, have bats or so. Have bats. No, that's not bats. Okay. Just need to go with the flow of the game. Disgusting. Lovely. I hate the camera angle chains. I really do. Awesome. I'm sorry that I can't at the moment reach chat. I would love to, but kinda have to focus on the moment. Alfred says they don't want you. Yeah, it's good. They don't want you as well. Also, hi Mathis. How are you today? Oh, fuck you, no. Ah, well. Why I'm so bad? Reasons. Yeah, I need to freaking... Boop. Alright, boop. The first one 
camera angle just worked way much better for me. Like way much more better. Way much. Oh fucking help. Awesome, awesome. Fucking murder me. Do it. Ah, oh, fucking help. You no idea what you've got yourself into. Because you need ice magic for this fight, so please show up when you have no. I know, I know, I'm just thinking out loud. Go ahead and make me Alright. Oh, fucking hell. Fucked up that one. Really fucking badly. Let's make this more <sighs> fucking hell. Lovely. Uh -huh. I do hope it's not one of those stuff that will force me to, you know, start from the beginning if I fuck up. But, oh well, if it is, well, then it is. How are you today? Finally. I'm kind of having a flashback to the Super Cup from the last game. Mm -hmm, same. Like that thing, feel like that. Every direction in the game or over the first. I prefer this one because, like, it just works better for my playstyle. Like, way better. Nice people are nice, wisdom words from here. Um, Chris, okay today, I think. Nothing special, really. Need to get into the controls again and we'll be able to make it. Okay, very good. Let's make this more exciting. Let's make this more exciting. Um the amount of health you have is like no exist. I was on air, but okay. Fucking hell. Why do nice people become hard in this society? Well, it depends on. Anyone know what the deal is with the icy looking stuff on the boss health bar? Uh, she's too fast, so we had to slow her down. And when she's slowed down, we actually can fight against her. You can hit her when the bar isn't icy. Yeah. Face indicator. Nice for the GG. But yeah, I if, do this like the part that it's like once again one of those kind of bosses where you have to hit them the specific way. I just never really learned to like stuff like that. You have to do a specific thing or use a specific skill to be able to harm the boss. I never really, you know, learned to enjoy them. Just isn't my cup of tea. I guess. There are many bosses that I do like, yeah, but stuff like that is just meh. Don't like it. Don't know why. Alright, what is this? 800. You can buy the skill. Counters. Sweep. 
Kill the thing, you can buy this. Why the fuck not, I guess. 550. 70. 800. Okay. And this one is then... Oh, these are way more expensive. Okay. Combine the stuff. Use it in combat to fill its mastery container. You can upgrade this skill. Let's see then. Okay. Let's get that. Okay. Nice. And these verity ones. Landberg powers, void powers. Secondary weapons. Hello, daggers. And yes, those exclamation marks are bothering me there, so I go through it. Oh, fucking hell. So they come back because I died? Oh, fucking hell. You like that it's puzzle on the boss fight, not just slamming the energy with one attack, but yeah, it can be frustrating the first time. I genuinely fucking hate puzzles, which is the reason I dislike it, but I do know that also, like, I fucking hate stuff like time puzzles and jumping puzzles, and still pretty much my all-time favorite game has all of those, so it depends on... But because it's the first time playing and I don't really know yet what I'm doing, it's like highly disliking it. When I get used to the controls, yeah, I do think that I will enjoy it, but before that, nah, it's just like me piss getting pissed off. No one likes getting wailed on while puzzle solving. Yeah, exactly. Tomb Raider? No, no, not Tomb Raider. You have a question. Will you play Castlevania Lords of Shadow Mirror of Fate after this? I don't think I have it. What is your all-time favorite game? Darksiders 2. It belongs to that. And then I Stop do hate platformers, on. but I love it. Crash Bandicoot 2. And yeah. When you like a game really much, the flaws of it become tolerable. Yes. Exactly. You've lost your chaos power. Darksiders 2, definitive the edition. Cabin. Yes. Really? Crash Bandicoot 2 is the king. Yep. Cross Bandico 2 is the first game I ever played. You're going to need to I think I was just three years old when my big brother gave me the controller for the first time. Or Fix Strikes Back, yes. Dark Series is a great series, good choice. It is one of my favorite game series, definitely. Freaking love those games. I am hoping that one beautiful day they will, you know, make the fourth one as well. Hopefully. Cross Bandicoot is super hard platformer. It's not hard. It is infuriating at some times, but I don't think it's hard. You hadn't gone more than a few meters when it, the doors of the enormous elevator closed suddenly, separating me from the rest. From behind the metal, I hear the captain older me to say in place until his return. Our mission to take the primordial chaos from the three fearsome guards should not have taken more than a few hours. However, it's been several days since he left, and I fear I may be the last man alive in this castle. It is now with my muscles numb and my heart filled with panic that I try to find peace and the memory of my beloved home. I recall sad expression on the faces of my parents, sweet and humble farmers, when I told them that I would be living in search of an exciting life in the army. Interior Warbird is probably a favorite of the platformers. CTR is your favorite grass game overall. CTR is great, yeah. We learned that Naughty Dog of Last of Us fame made the first three funny good games. Yeah, they did. The first game of Crash is hard AF, especially with the weird saving system. It is challenging. You're not a Naughty Dog fan at all. Why? You don't like Jack and Dexter? Jack and Dexter is okay, you hate this again. I've not played those games at all. The boys who prove that they are skilled enough with the sword are required by the Brotherhood of Light in their campaign against the forces of evil. The though physical and mental training they are given makes them very efficient in close combat, providing them with ironclad determination. However, if their willpower is not enough, they wear full armor and carry large shields to protect their lives instead. As lower-ranking members, the Brotherhood soldiers are sent to their deaths by the generals with the sole hope of offering them a better fate than their own. Follow me, brothers, for it you do. 
you will meet a death more honorable than any of you could imagine. Guardian Vicus, Front Master of the Brotherhood. Yeah, those dudes don't sound, don't sound nice. I do feel like I'm just gonna read these and then go forward. Ragnar Seagulls went to cool GT Road. Huh, Jack 2 was made by the complete fit in Ratchet and Clank, but it's you. Hmm. Like Queens of Persia were Ling also did that. Should be relaxing platformer, not Call of Duty. What is relaxing platformer? It's funny how Reset and Clank is still relevant while Jack and Dexter series is dead. Hmm. Those who aspire to paladins are raised in monasteries, educated under the dogma of fate, and trained in the art of war. Their whole life becomes a test in which any mistake, as insignificant as it may be, leads to the complete failure of their mission. Only the purest heart, capable of showing absolute determination and an unswerving, unswerving fate, will be recognized as God's chosen one. Beyond receiving the admiration of all and the favor of the Council of the Brotherhood of Light, the Paladins are rewarded with the weapons and armor of gold, forced by the best man's master blacksmith from Angel Bones. Their aim from then until the end of their days is to serve God in the battle against the offspring of evil and guide their troops to victory. I was like you once, but your God showed me another path. Dracula. With the upsurge of battles between the Brotherhood of Light and the forces of darkness, the engineers of the Holy Order quickly completed the last great work of Gandalfi, the Siege Titan. It is a giant wood and metal automaton, inspired by the stone giants that the forces of Agartha combined in the Necromancer Wars. For over a decade, hundreds of craftsmen worked to complete the mechanism powered by the divine energy of the gem that the priest placed in its head. In battle, it would be ready to use its enormous extremities, smashing a retracement with a single stamp of the foot, pulverizing the walls of the castle with its fist and dispatching a group of soldiers inside. Its value in war is such that only after it was built did the Brotherhood decide to start the siege of Dracula's castle. The world is enough to set in motion, destroy its hugest master engineer. All right. And the rest of them will read later on. Oh, this looks like another boss fight, even though it's probably not, but at the same time, I'm suspicious as fuck about everything. Right. It's an elevator. Probably the first elevator ever that wasn't a trap. Okay, we found some skulls. Happiness. <laughs> Alright. A lovely path of lava. How about just more and more feelings that I have been in this place before. Weird. The main problem with Naughty Dog is they throw hundreds of enemies at you in every of their games. So I check to Uncharted. It should be adventure and puzzle game, but you shoot hundreds of clone soldiers in the face. Hmm. New character. An ancient legend about the destruction of the Empire of Agartha describes how during the fall of the ancestral gods, three sisters managed to escape the jaws of death, hiding forever in the depths of the earth. The shadows corrupted their hearts and withered their innocence, retaining only their youth as a mask that covers their macabre secret. Unaware of the changing world looming over them, they have prospered, obsessed with staying together until the arrival of the end of the time. When I arrived here, I envied the death. Now my entrails feed the little girl. I die happy with the pride of a father who feeds his children. Let Dorian, Brotherhood Soldier. Okay. You miss you, was that flexible? You can see the artwork from the extra section. Alright. 
I prefer Tomb Raider. Because you have more tomb riding, puzzles and climbing and jumping than suited people. We were in the middle of our re reconnaissance of the Tansen when a group of those grotesque beings attacked our detachment. They defeated all of my comrades and devoured those unfortunate enough to still be facing, and they fought over their weapons and armor with maces. Only I was able to escape to document what happened. In combat, the largest of them never watches its back, and the smallest, much more skittish, cover themselves frequently. Moreover, the rivets that hold the plates of their rough armor seem to be very weak. Perhaps by heating them, a weakness may be found. I can barely keep my blood from soaking this paper. The return elevator does not work and the cannibals have me surrounded. I can't even play dead as they would eat me anyway. These lines will be my last remains. Remember my teachings, brother. Okay, I take that as a hint of how to kill the enemies that are appearing. Hi Kosur, how are you today? You saw Castlevania, so you won me over. Hell yeah! Hopefully you enjoy your stay here. Once it was amazing to watch your yoga teacher to fall back on their hands to that bridge position and then continue to handstand and back to her feet. About Uncharted. They announced a remaster of Uncharted 4 and Lost Legacy for PS5. Oh, fucking hell. Why right, everything is on PS5? Like, can't catch it. Can't get it. Hopefully, one beautiful day. Hopefully. Well, hello there, Mr. Hanson. With your fancy armor. Hi Tafti, how are you today? I'm actually seated also the other way. First the handstand and then drop on her feet down to the tricks position and rose from normal standing. Huh. Good happy to hear. You think it's also coming so PC, hopefully. Some of the jailers were especially violent and unscrupulous, dismembering their own during the flesh tournaments held under the castle. As a reward for their exploits, they won the right to keep the cadaver and the armor of those they defeated. Devouring the bodies, they developed their physiques even more, becoming giant masses of muscle. With the metal, they forced crude armor, with blades leaving some parts for their back exposed and an enormous hammer capable of breaking any defensive when hot. The fear they inspire in the rest of their kind makes them the undisputed masters of the dungeon. As proof of that, they carry a key that gives access to a section of their territory. If you don't give that key to me now, I will take it from your cadaver, Dracula. This is how they make sure that people will pay ridiculous prices for a PS5. Yeah. But it at the same time will cause that, you know, maybe those games won't really get the chance to actually get people to play them because of that, you know? Because, you know, but the PS5 is something that is so damn exclusive that most people can't get it. The games might die before they time, you know. At least it makes me feel like that way. Because if no one really gets to play them, they will die. Another thing. It wasn't long after Dracula's rise to power that the first humans from nearby regions paid homage and swore allegiance to the Prince of Darkness. In exchange for their pathetic lives, they agreed to kill anyone who did not join the cause, whether a stranger, acquaintance, or relative. With each murder they committed, their body transformed gradually into that of a fall beast, as if it were a physical reflection of their cowardly and treacherous soul. Once they were left, without a trace of humanity, they withdrew to the deepest reaches of the castle to defend the interests of their lord under the orders of the dungeon guards. You need not fear pain if you give it out first, Dracula. Do you feel like you're missing out, Queen? Yeah, I do. But, you know... I can't have it yet. I'm on a line that would be able to get the PS5 eventually, but... There is still quite a lot of people before me, so I'm not sure when I will be able to get it. If ever, you know. 
Although you think it's because of the scalpers, like they are buying 10 PS5 at the time and then selling them at the higher price because of the demon. Yeah, sad but true. I think they realized that they shot themselves in the foot with re unre releasing so many titles for both PS4 and PS5. Until now, there wasn't really a reason to buy PS5. Mm. Just want a Series X so you can play your 600 games that you already own from four generations of Xbox games that you can play easily on Series X without rebuying stuff like a PS5. PS5 needs to have something like Game Pass. City of the Dead. Five, seven minutes and you're going Subnautica. Ooh. Well, I hope you enjoy. Are, are you already back at the area where you were earlier before you lost your save or is it still super far away? There is a game pass. I think coming next year for PlayStation. Games you can play on Steam while you're killing me. Skeletons for PS5. I would still not do that. I will prefer the skeleton. But you don't need that PS5 games you want to play. Way beyond that? In half the time. Ooh, nice! I still have the deja vu feeling all the time, but I haven't seen this place before. Fucking suspicious. 